about 18 months, maybe two years ago, I, I got a um, an email uh, from from somebody at the BBC London where I do a, a radio show on a Thursday night. And this email was from a woman called Tracy. She was telling me a story about her son, Jamie, a fairly harrowing story about this uh, young kid, this young boxer, who'd been diagnosed um, with cancer. Very sudden, boom, looked like his boxing career was over. Looked like, I mean, let's not mince our words, looked like, you know, his life could be over. It was that serious. Anyway, I managed to get Jamie on the show and I spoke to Tracy and... I've got to know them a little bit, and not not as well as some people over the years. And um, you know, it's a delight and a pleasure, a delight and a pleasure, to to welcome to the to my fantastic new leather sofa, both Tracy and Jamie. Welcome to the pair of you. That's it. Thank Thank you. I'll start with you, Jamie. Um, what actually happened? Because you were an amateur boxer, weren't you? What actually happened? When when did you, you know, what, what, you know, what, did, you, did your jaw hurt? Your mouth hurt? Talk me through the process. Well, I had a lump on the roof of my mouth, and uh, I just thought nothing of it. I thought it was an ulcer, you know, to go away. So I went to the gym that night, training with the boys, we're doing a bit of sparring, and uh, I come back and I was going to the boys. I've got a really really bad headache. I've got a headache. It's killing me. So when I got back, I said to my mum, "You got to give me some painkillers." Got me some painkillers. It just weren't. It just wasn't going away. About three or four o'clock in the morning, I said, "Mum, you've got to take me to the hospital. It's not. It's not working. The painkillers not working." So I went to the hospital, got it all checked out, and um, we had to wait for results. And it just. And they said, "Well, it might might be an assist or something like that." I said, "Okay." I thought, well, I thought nothing. Not one thought in my mind was going to be cancer. And. Um, Oh, no. and at, at, at what point did they tell you, Trace? I mean, um, what, <coughs> when they start because it's really a jump. They suddenly use that word. It's a real jump over the yeah. fence, isn't it? Well, they um, fell on the roof of his mouth and he had a lump. Uh, they'd done an X-ray, couldn't find anything. Done a CT scan, yeah. and they saw a three and a half centimetre lump. But they obviously never said nothing about cancer. They just said it could be a polyp or a cyst. Yeah. Um, so they took a biopsy. And then a week later, we went back for the results and they told us that it was um, a Ewing sarcoma, a rare, very rare form of cancer. And you started treatment then, but you're still trying to train, still to try, yeah. to try and train <laughs> as a boxer. The doctors told me to rest and stuff, but I thought, no way, not, not one second I think I'm going to let this beat me. I've determined, I've been determined all the way through, and it's made me a stronger and better person. I still want to... And you started to. Who was it? Was you obviously reaching out to the people in boxing? Because you you went up, yeah. you went to the ring with Derek Delboy Chisora, didn't you? When he fought yeah, uh, he, Tyson, yeah. Tyson Fury. Fury. He went in and, there with Tyson, yeah. And you've been spending time with Richie Woodall, Joe yeah. Kalzaki, I know, has been with you. Um, and Tim Witherspoon, obviously, Tim been. Tim Witherspoon's done a lot. Kevin Mitchell, um, Francis Warren has been really, really good. good. He's been with us all the way through. Um, Ashley Sexton, and he's got a friend. Flash Ash, we like yeah, him. Flash Ash, and his, his friend gentleman. Brendan O'Connor, they've yeah. done so much for us. Um, there's loads and loads, obviously, in the boxing community. Just before Jamie goes in for an operation, they, they usually meet up Jane Couch, Glenn Catley, Colin McMillan, wow. loads of them. Even the night before he went in for his yeah. operation to have the tumour took away. Yeah. Um, they all got together. And you've done something with Sky as well, haven't you? I mean, it's not, you know, I'm not claiming you as my own. You've done stuff with Sky, haven't you? They filmed you, haven't yeah, they? Yeah, we've, we've done loads, obviously. We've, um, we was on the Gabby Logan show with yeah. um, Joe Kelzaki. Uh, he's done a two part film with Joe. Um, Tim with a spoon done him an 18th birthday party, so the boxers have just been, been unbelievable. Brilliant. But but the the thing is, I mean, we're smiling and laughing now, but there was a real low point when this yeah. massive. I'm, not, I'm going to talk to you in a minute about it. But this massive operation was what 12, 13 hours. 13 yeah, hours, yeah, 13 hours. Ten surgeons. Um, he was on a life support machine. It was touch and go for a little while. He couldn't move, talk, eat, drink. And when was that, Tracy? 29th of November last year. Uh, surprising you remember the date. Yeah, I'm joking. I yeah, exactly. <laughs> I bet you remember what time we went in, what yeah, time he came okay. out, and what you were wearing and what he was wearing. So, uh, so after he came out of that, you, you obviously you, you build your health up, you get back to the gym, and you had some fantastic or good good news. Obviously, two in two ways. Uh, you get good news from from the surgeons, and you also get good news because you pass a medical, yeah. and you actually got a box again. That's it. That's, well, one thing I, I've always knew in my mind I was going to box, but everyone never said it to me face, but I heard rumours he's finished, he's never going to box again, and that just drove me even more now. So. But even his trainers didn't think that he would pass the medical. And when are you out again? When are, when are you going to... 23rd of June. And that's yeah. going to be a proper... You're actually going to box? My first, first fight back, back yeah. since I've been out for two years, and 
I just can't wait. I'm ready to box now. I'm, I'm in what about shape. your weight going up and down with all the treatment and stuff? Have you been he all is, over the he's place? He's never ever lost weight. He's... Because you've trained for yeah. it. Well, he's when, been I was his going, own. when I was going for my treatment, I was pretty organised with my diet and stuff. I yeah, built, built myself up with protein shakes and stuff and that good food. So I kept myself in tip top shape. Now, what about the medical all clears or the, you know, the semi green lights they give you? Because they never give you that full one, do they? Yeah. They say come back in six months or three months. Where are we at that stage, Tracy? Where are we now with that? We've just left the hospital now before we come here for okay. an MRI scan. Uh, they check everywhere to make sure that it's not come back. Not moved. Mm -hmm. um, but obviously, they're quite hopeful that they took enough of his face away. They took the roof of his mouth away, <laughs> eight of his teeth, plus the bone attached to wow. his teeth and they took his right sinuses, so he had a hole going right up inside, and they've taken bone and tissue from his shoulder blade and reconstructed all his mouth of it. But you wouldn't know, would you? I mean, I said, when I saw you at your oh, call yeah. that time, that's the first thing I said, I said, what's well, there's nothing wrong with you. That's the, I mean, you know, I'm not, I mean, I you, nice you look, big, you look nice, fantastic, son. I've got a nice big scar going around there. I've got a little scar here, but. Oh, yeah, I saw that scar yeah, there, yeah. And yeah. the scar on your face. It doesn't faze me one bit, as long as I can box again, I'm, I'm not worried. I just want to get in there. And you've got something coming up with Joe, is it Joe Kazaki in September yeah. or something? October, yeah. October, October what's the, that? It's, um, Charity do. The military, military police have um, given us their venue at the um, Wellington Barracks in London. Yeah. And um, Jamie's going to fight Joe Kazaki for charity. And there's going to be Tim Witherspoon. Um, Tim. Kevin Mitchell, Richie Woodall, Richie Woodall all Glenn Catley, all of them have uh, like offered five course meal cooked by a top chef. He's offered to do it, and Jamie wants to give something back to the hospital. How, how can people find out about that? It's all very well watching me here tonight, but how can people, if they want to go and Google you, how could they find out about that, Jamie? Or um, the Royal Marsden, Marsden, the Royal Marsden, Royal Marsden, and they find it, they track you yeah. down through there. there there'd be a, um, a poster on their website advertising it, which is being made up right this minute. And they're going to, hopefully, we can um, advertise it on as many boxing websites or Facebook, anything like that, so I can get it out there for people to support because Jamie wants to give something back to the hospital that saved his life. And not only that, we've been in there with a lot of children that have died. Yeah. And nearly every person we've been in the hospital with, with the same cancer as Jamie has died. Wow. So we've had to sit there and watch that. And how do you feel in yourself now, Jamie? Because oh, you've had two years of, you know, of on and off hell. Yeah, how do you I'm feel in within yourself? Tip top shape now. I'm, I can run five and a half minute miles already now. Wow. But I'm training twice a day. I'm pushing myself to the limit. Now you know that you know that expression. It's a bit of a cliche where people say boxing saved my life. It's generally because they were heading to prison or whatever. Yeah. But you, when that when it's applied to you, you genuinely believe that, don't you? You yeah, genuinely yeah. believe. Because if it wasn't for boxing, I wouldn't have the determination, the discipline, what I've got now to get me through the treatment. And when I was going through my treatment, I've seen like little children, young as one years old, running around with tubes in and out the nose. So when I'm training now and when I'm fighting, I'll do it for them. Tracy, um, ja Jamie, f f some for coming in. Thanks very much. Thanks, just sit there for a second. Um, so yeah, don't just bring your joke stuff and comic stuff and other stuff. I bring you proper stories. Now